What's up, everybody? I'm Joey Lancianis from Dick's Sporting Goods, and we are here in the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, at the home of Zenith, one of the most disruptive, cool, and innovative football brands in the game today. Our friends at Zenith are really hooking us up. They're gonna give us an all-access, exclusive behind-the-scenes tour of their production facility that manufactures some of the most revolutionary helmets and other protective equipment that you see on the gridiron each and every weekend, and they do it proudly right here in the United States. Folks, this is the type of access that only Dick Sporting Goods can give you. So, let's strap up, lock in, and let's go see how Zenith football helmet is made. Follow me. Ryan, what's up, man? Joey, how you doing? Doing well, man, appreciate it. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryan Sullivan, the CEO for Zenith. Well, here we are, man, in your warehouse, Detroit, Michigan. This is where the magic happens. Uh, you know, before we get started, I wanted to ask you what it means for you to be a part of the Zenith team that's really revolutionizing and innovating protection for the sport of football. Absolutely, well, first and foremost, thank you for being here today. Really thrilled to have you all. And at Zenith, one of our core values is passion, purpose, and pride. So everyone on the Zenith team, myself, and everyone that you're gonna meet here today, lives with that core value each and every single day and brings that spirit to everything that we do. So as a team, as innovators, as creators, we are seeking to make the best performance and protective gear that we can for the football athlete from head to ankle. I love it. So tee it up for everybody at home. Don't skip out on any details. What are we gonna see as we walk through the facility together today? Absolutely, today we're gonna to see a helmet being created from, from birth to, to being shipped out the door. In addition to that, you're gonna get a sneak peek into some of our research, engineering, and design. The real special sauce of what we do here at Zenith that makes us incredibly unique and enables us to be the number one youth helmet and shoulder pad at Dick's Sporting Goods. I love that. So what's gonna be the first step in the process we see? The first step in the process is the serial number application unique to us. Every helmet has a serial number that's attached to the shock matrix and the shell of the helmet. It's critically important that those two things stay together through their entire life. This is the birth certificate for a helmet. Let's go check it out. I love it, no sense in waiting. Let's do it, man. All right, let's do it. All right, so here we are, first step in the helmet making process. Tell everybody at home what we're looking at here. We are at the head of the Zenith assembly line where each and every single helmet that we produce to ship the Dick's Sporting Goods or places around the world is produced by hand by our talented and highly skilled team. Awesome, and what's, uh, what's the first step here? So the first step, this is where helmets are born. This is where we attach a serial number to the shell as well as that interior shock matrix. Yeah. So that's very unique to Zenith. And that ensures that you as a customer, you have confidence that the shell and the shock matrix are gonna to stay together throughout their entire life if you get that helmet reconditioned in future seasons. Now, after the barcode, after that birth certificate, like you said, what are kind of the next steps in the process? Absolutely, so we're gonna go through each step of the process where you're gonna see our team members uh, installing the shock matrix. Yeah installing the chin straps and chin cup, affixing the face mask, and finally a quality assurance station before we get to our, our camera station, uh, which is something really unique that I can't wait to share with you guys. Let's go see it. All right. Cool. All right, so here we are at the camera station. Let everyone know what we're looking at here. For sure, we're at the last station on our assembly line. Here we are with that black helmet we started with up front. Here at the camera station, we take a picture of every finished good that we make from multiple angles before it leaves our door. And what does that do for the customer or the product? Why do you guys take a picture? It gets back to that philosophy of putting the customer first, putting the athlete first and at the center of everything that we do. So that record keeping, that commitment to quality is something that we take very seriously and is, is present in every step of our process, including the last one. And that way as a customer, you have trust, transparency, you know that Zenith is, is putting everything that we can into getting you a high quality product. I love Thank that, you. and that's the connection you guys have with the customer that goes beyond the manufacturing or goes beyond the, the purchase. It's really that reliability that they have in the Zenith brand. Absolutely, we are known for innovation in our product and the technology, but that, that same philosophy, that same commitment transcends each and every single thing that we do, including the process of manufacturing. Now this is an inline helmet. You guys do a ton of customization. What would be the next step in that process? There's a, a tremendous amount of ways that a customer could customize their, their product one of which is paint. So let's go check out the paint booth. The splash little color, what do you say? All right, let's cool. do it. Take me to it. All right, Joey, so here we are at the Zenith paint booth where we do custom paint and uh, also paint like the matte black helmet I'm holding here, which is featured at Dick's Sporting Goods. I love it, man, it's looking good. That's one of the key styles, but take us through, you guys have endless color combinations. Yeah. Well, what is that process like for customization at Zenith? Absolutely, so we have a number of colors like matte black that we tend to carry in stock. 
So the turnaround time would be just a few days like any other order that we have. We also can custom match any color that folks want and that process can take up to two weeks just depending on the level of complexity. We've talked a lot about through the process all the craftsmanship and everything being done by hand. The paint stop is, is no different than that. Yeah. Well, what does that add to, to kind of really the, the personalization that the customer gets when they customize the Zenith helmet? Yeah, the paint is no different. It's a very high skill uh, artisan finish process that we do. And our team is incredibly skilled at, at applying that paint and customizing the helmet for our customizers and really want to meet their needs at the end of the day. We talk about the aesthetic, we talk about the cosmetic. We've seen the shell of the helmet kind of come together, but the helmet's really about more than that. It's about protection and safety first and foremost. What do you say we hook up with your research and development guys, see all the innovation and great technology that goes behind these bad boys? Let's do it. Awesome. All right, Ryan, now here we are. A lot of excitement happens here. This is the research and development lab right here in the Zenith warehouse. Tell everybody a little bit about the design and the impact testing that goes on here. Absolutely. We are here at the pinnacle, the apex, the, the, the finish line, if you will, of our entire design, research, and development process here in the Zenith Impact Test Lab. What our team does, the capabilities that we have as an organization, from design to engineering to material science to impact testing, really speaks to that athlete-centric design philosophy that we've been touching on uh, throughout the tour today. And here in this lab, we do a number of, of different tests for our products, whether it's football helmets, right, which you see behind us. We also have a drop test rig in this lab. We also test components, so material science, innovating the next generation of materials that are in helmets like our Shadow XR uh, model, which is coming to Dick's Sporting Goods this year as well. All those different types of component and full helmet testing happen right here in this lab. Trying to stay ahead of it of, of what that next thing might be. Exactly, that, that commitment to innovation, that commitment to designing great products that elevate the athlete's pursuit is at the core of everything that we do. Now Ryan, you touched about the, um, you know, the, the player feedback you get directly from the athlete, from the design perspective. We're here also in the R&D lab where there's a lot of impact testing going on. Can you tell me a little bit about the machine behind me as well as the drop machine in front of us? Absolutely, so the, the equipment that we have in this room here Behind us is a pneumatic ram. This is a high speed, high velocity, high impact machine. But what that allows us to do is to test helmets and try to replicate as best we can what happens on the field of play. Acknowledging that you know no lab test can ever perfectly replicate what happens on the field, sure. we're trying to do the best that we can. So there's nine accelerometers in the head form of this helmet that measure different forces experienced by that head form. So we're talking about both rotational and uh, linear impact yep. measurement, and ultimately trying to mitigate that, that impact as best we can here at Zenith. And then we also have, as you mentioned, a drop test rig here, which measures primarily linear forces. So at the end of the day, we're trying to optimize for energy control for the athlete and minimize that impact that is experienced by the, the athlete's head on the field of play. And there's another game-changing item that's really revolutionary to the sport. We've seen seven-on-seven seven of flag football played for years now with kind of the, the cone-shaped headgear, mm -hmm. if you will, um, and obviously safety and protection being, being number one, and seven-on-seven, seven, just because there's maybe less tackling is, is, is no different. You still want that head protection. But the, the loop is a completely different shape, completely yeah. different cosmetic and design. What made you guys come up with that, and, and is that something you're excited about, kind of releasing, uh, again, a game-changing item? Absolutely, and that's a great product to highlight that end-to-end -end design and development process. Our team worked to design and develop loop for over three years, wow. and it all started on the field. So we sought to understand the sport of non-tackle football better than anyone ever had. We did an incredible amount of research. Our lead engineer, who was part of the engineering team that developed the NFL helmet testing protocol, that was prior to his arrival here at Zenith, but that just gives you a sense of the team that we have here. Yeah. Uh, so he led an effort to install 15 GoPro cameras around a highly competitive high school seven on seven hmm. environment and we captured hundreds of, of impacts. Because as you said, it's non-tackle, yeah. and yet anyone that's in the sport of seven on seven or flag football knows that even though it's non-tackle, there is a lot of impact or incidental impact that occurs throughout the, the field of play. Yep. Whether it's head to head, head to ground, Joey, you and I going up and elbow, yep. elbow to head, right? There's a lot of incidental impact that yep. happens in the sport. You know, our team really put a, a, a tremendous amount of data and, and scientific effort to understanding the what happens on the field of play. Yeah. But in addition to that, what's important to the athlete, right? Yep. What we heard from them was they needed to be able to hear uh, heat management, right? How comfortable is it? How does it fit? How is it staying on my head when I'm yep. performing? How does that work for both boys and girls? Those were all design considerations that we took into account throughout that process. And ultimately, that resulted in, in Zenith Loop. So 
that's a, a great example of how we bring those capabilities to life um, from the field to the test lab and ultimately to the shelf with the exporting goods on products like Xenic Loop. Now you mentioned three years in developing the, the Loop as, as a good example. Yep. Well, what may be the, the lead time of, of development that, that your R&D team is, is doing here of a new product? Is that kind of the average? Can, can a customer expect two to three years of really hard work and effort and research went, went behind this product? Yeah, it, it depends on the product, right? So uh, another, another product that we're bringing to market with Dick Sporting Goods this year is our Shadow XR Youth Helmet. So this is a product that is built upon the innovations that were in our Shadow Helmet that we launched about a year ago. And we've really optimized for energy control with this Shadow XR model, leading with material science and some of those things that I had touched on that we do right here in this lab. And that, that from end to end, that's been a two to three year process in and of itself. And as we look across our entire product portfolio, we are actively working on projects launching anywhere from six months from now all the way up to three years from now into the future. So it really depends on, on the product and what we are doing to it. If it's refining an existing product or creating an entirely new product, yeah. uh, as you can imagine, there's different lead times and development times to, to each of those exercises. Our team of designers, researchers, engineers, I mean, these are people that work tirelessly to create great products, yep. right? That's what we do. That's what passion, purpose, and pride in everything that we do here as an organization. And I can assure you that we have one of the most talented teams in the world at what they do, and they are very committed to creating great products for athletes on the field of play. Well, you know, I continue to be blown away, and, and uh, the R&D lab is no different, but I think that about wraps up the process. What do you say you and I head back out to the factory floor, we find that helmet at home, and we ship it off to Dick Sporting Goods? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Well, there you have it, guys beginning to end look behind the scenes of the process of how a Zenith football helmet is made. Ryan, we came in here, we gave the helmet a barcode, a birth certificate unique to this product. We went down the assembly line, we added a face mask, we took a picture with the camera to show the quality of the service behind the Zenith brand. We hopped over to the paint station, flashed a little color, popped a little style, and then we went over to the R&D team, really got to look into the innovation and technology that goes behind each and every Zenith helmet, and now it's boxed up, ready to be shipped off to Dick Sporting Goods, and you never know, could be worn by a future uh, Fosma Hall of Famer. Absolutely. Thrilled to have you here. Really appreciate the time and could not be more excited to share with you and your audience what we do each and every single day. That commitment to quality, that commitment to making every product five star and top performing uh, from a helmet perspective is core to who we are and what we do. And really excited to give you a sneak peek uh, behind the curtain, as they say. Yeah, that's awesome. And also being a football fan, I want to thank you and the whole Zenith team for really being a leader in revolutionizing protection in the sport of football, and most importantly, safety in this great game, because it's vital. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming in today. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. For Dick's Morning Goods, I'm Joey Lanciana. like our partners at Zenith like to say, attack every day with passion, purpose, and pride. And hey, when you're between those white lines, go stick somebody.